Hi everyone, welcome to this week's edition of the Retail Roundup. This is Shama Maher with Scaling Retail. This week I'd like to chat with you about expansion into China and taking your brand into a global marketplace. You know, it recently was published that Abercrombie is launching 100 new stores in China. And we know from recent episodes of the Retail Roundup that they've already gone through an expansion process and strategy that incorporates not only international distribution as well as expanding into lower price pointed items to be sold at wholesale and bringing in new items into their storefront. But when it comes to expansion into China, one of the things that we oftentimes think about is that doing business internationally has to be left to those who are making a ton of money already. The brands that are currently having big distribution within the states, as well as those who are kind of at a second or third stage of their business in terms of strategy and growth. Well, today I'd like to share with you that there are actually opportunities for smaller brands and medium-sized brands to take the leap internationally in ways that are actually great fits for you. Now, what does that look like and how can that happen? Well, what you may not know is that a lot of brands that are importing into China right now are doing so in a variety of two methods. One is, of course, through a, a franchising or licensing agreements of the products. The other one is actually the retailer themselves posting up those products in fixtures and gondolas and actually treating them as if they were international pop-up shops. Now, why would you do that and what is the point? Well, there have been a lot of reports and studies that have come out that these malls in China are not only super hungry and interested in having more international products from U.S. and domestic production, but they're also interested in high volume, which means if you're looking to close out product or you have leftover inventory, it might be a great idea to think about how you can offload some of that that is not only not new to us, but that is new to them. And when you think about these different opportunities, I'll tell you a couple ways in which they can actually come about. The first one is actually having to do with renting the space and finding the partners. Of course, the luxury market in China is booming. So when it comes to preference in terms of who the products are and what those designs are, you're going to want to test that marketplace. There are certainly new services that are out there that are going to be able to help you to take your brand from small domestic distribution to a larger, more international platform. A lot of unknown brands that you don't know have been doing this for many, many years. So what does that mean to us? Why would we actually want to be able to expand internationally? Well, when it comes to the turnover and the volume of business that you have the potential to do in China, it's huge. Um, as a brand, if you can get your manufacturing and your operations down, and you can have a great product that works in turnkey, you might be able to find yourself moving through thousands and thousands of units a month, which is huge, right? As a medium-sized brand, you can be saying to yourself, wow, my orders tend to be a couple hundred pieces here and there. How is that even possible? Well, working through various companies that are going to bridge those relationships for you. You do have to make some investment in the beginning, However, it is a risk that's worth taking if you've exhausted a lot of your resources thus far, meaning you've gone through the expansion process here in the States, you've been knocking on a lot of doors, trying to figure out what to do with old inventory, as well as trying to figure out what's next for your company. Taking yourself internationally is certainly going to be one way to help your business grow and succeed. You know, in addition to China, a lot of marketplaces and more demand is opening up in India as well. You know, we will start to find very, very quickly, simultaneously and following suit with China, that a lot of brands are moving towards these franchise platforms, as well as new companies popping up that are there to help bridge the relationship. So as a small brand, you might be thinking to yourself, all these costs that Shama is talking about, what are they and what does that mean and is it really worth it? Well, I'll tell you, it's not worth it if it's not really a part of your strategy and plan. And how do you know if it fits into such? Well, simply this. Being able to enter into the Chinese marketplace means that you need to be able to have access to a lot of products that you can send over there. It's simply not going to be enough to say, I'm going to make a delivery every three months. You need to be able to have a few collections worth of products there waiting for that customer. So there is an inventory risk and liability. You may or may not be in a good position to take that on. You certainly are going to have to think about in terms of reassurances. Can I handle those costs? There will be installation costs in terms of if you do rent out a gondola. Imagine it such as this. You were going into a Westfields. You want to rent out a shop or perhaps rent out a gondola in the store. 
However, uh, you're not going to be able to be there full time to manage it. You're not going to be able to drop off products or have the ease of shipping um, on a regular basis. So you need to be doing some aggressive planning and forecasting ahead to take full advantage of that relationship. So I know it's a lot to think about. Certainly a great opportunity for those of us who are in that position to maybe take that leap internationally and definitely something to think about as we build our brands in terms of what is the overall global vision and how can I take this to the next level? Perhaps you don't go international this year or next, but if you do work on your distribution strategy and you find out that you have a product and you're ready to make that leap, that's certainly something that I or anyone at Scaling Retail can help you with. All right, hope you have a fantastic day. Talk to you soon. Bye.